And of course, the rain squishing is because it's Sunday. I don't want to bring all the squishies on Sunday. <laughs> all the squishies. All right, so we're going to start with just things here. We're going to start in chapter. Mm, sorry in advance, by the way, I legit could not sleep last night. Could not sleep last night. Oh my God. I closed my window. And then, yeah, we're just gonna like bring it in. Legs are nice and wide, and then our chest comes down. Mm. We're breathing. Allow your body to sink with your breath. Whatever that means to you. Feel your belly breath. Uh, mm, see if you can relax further with Uh, into your space, releasing into the acceptance of the present moment and all that it contains. Continue breathing into your heart space uh, and releasing, relaxing, opening your throat and your head. Breathing into your entire body. Feeling your energy from the tips of your toes to your fingernails, your crown and beyond into your aura. The light that emanates from within you into the world around you. As you breathe, cleanse your aura. Allow this energy to circulate, cycle through your being, going through the filter of pure conscious light. As your aura cleanses, you might begin to relax a little bit more deeply. Releasing them to the surface of your mat, in the space, your soul. Go ahead, set the intention for your practice. Breathe into the reason why. You shut up on your mat in the first place. As you exhale, release your intention in the fertile ground practice. Knowing that you are exactly where you're meant to be. Doing exactly what you are meant to be doing. Breathe in that acceptance. Breathe in that trust as you slowly, slowly, slowly use your palms to start pressing your way back up. Big, beautiful breaths. You can stay just like you are seated like this, or you can come into a nice, comfortable cross to seat. Whatever feels best for you right now as we just open up our neck mm. side to side. 
Continuing to breathe deeply, activating our ujjayi breath, the deep yogi breath. Goes in through our nose and out through our nose with a nice, tight, constricted throat. Sounding like the waves of an ocean. Inhale. Mm, exhale. In, out. One more time, great back, please. Beautiful. We're going to take our little hooks and just go ahead and make infinity signs. Mm -hmm. Continuing to open up our neck even further. It's nice, gentle, fluid motion. Inhale. And as we open up our neck, breathe deeply. Start to feel our body a little bit more. So we're waking up, waking up our body, waking up our mind, waking up, reintegrating our soul. Moving slowly, 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 slow down. Ooh, Savoring each breath. Each and every breath. Oh, I shrug your shoulders back. Taking this big yawn. <laughs> if your body is like mine, it's very tight and achy in the winter. You might be cracking or hearing lots of like creaks and whatever. Just like let it be. You don't have to make up stories or like, you know, wish that your body wasn't a glow stick. <laughs> Just allow it to be totally fine. So we're here breathing, <laughs> breathing into our mobility. And go ahead, squeeze your shoulders at the top. Really squeeze, 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 squeeze. And exhale. Shoulders come down your back to the top of the spine. Again, squeeze, 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 shoulders all the way up. Mm, the exhale, ah, through your mouth, release, chin lifts up to the sky. Inhale one more time, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze your shoulders up as tight as you can. Mm, exhale, ah, release. Awesome. We're going to go forward, stand up. So I'm going to exaggerate the movement a little bit. So let's just exaggerate it, like up and then down. Like we're shoulder ninjas up and down, like unnecessarily exaggerated. Like, whoa. It's like, allow yourself. Oh my God, I'm so <laughs> My voice sounds like. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. It's an interesting thing now. I'm like proud of my throat. Not sick, but just like, just sound like I'm just tired, honestly. <laughs> I'm just tired. I'm just tired. Oh, it's okay. Our breath. Our breath. Uh, okay. Beautiful. Now let's take our magical hand. 
and last bell line back. We're going to bring our third eye to the back of the leg, push it up between the knees. Okay, if you're not able, properly flat, just lower your body down. And then hands are going to come up. And if your nose feels like it's getting squished, just like bring more weight back on your lower body. Hold, breathe here. Five, four, three, two, one. Beautiful. Awesome. We're going to come onto. Go ahead, put your hands underneath your shoulders. Push your way back up. And then also, right where you are, we're going to do a little press out. Bring a first one. I and if you're in any posture you want to like open up your neck side to side, it makes so nice to you. Just like use your body as an intuitive tool, an intuitive tool to feel more deeply. Let's come up to our hands and knees. And before we like do anything, just like tuck your toes, a little bit tuck your toes, and then ah, yeah, open up. This might be very intense. If it's very intense, kind of like lean forward a little bit so that you're not like putting too much of your weight. But if you can, and also don't forget about your pinky toes. Sometimes our pinky toes want to like just not do this one. Just get all of your toes involved and kind of like just pass them. Oh, opening up the backs of your toes. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Sometimes your toes need to be opened up. Nobody's going to open your toes for you. <laughs> you got to just open up the toes. So, okay. Beautiful. Breathe. Inhale. Lengthen your spine. And exhale. Shoulders look out and out. Inhale. Exhale. One more breath. Inhale. And exhale. Perfect. Come on to your hands now. Flip them first side. And then uh, open up the backs of your wrists too. We're really opening up our body. Yeah. Opening our body. Because it's getting to be cold here in New York. And yeah, it's just that time of the year where our body needs to be like more warmed up. And that's why yoga is so important because not only is it good, you can just rock side to side also with me. And if you want, you can rotate your ankles like double whammy. Oh my God, my energy is so. Oh, funny today. Okay. Um, yeah, not only is yoga good for your body and mind and spirit, right? Like brings us back to that equilibrium, that equanimity that we're always searching for. Um, it's also very good for just like our physical self, you know, just like warm up so we feel more open throughout our day. So point your toes like I'm doing right now and then put them down and then come onto your hands at perfect and then hee just rock back and forth. So we're opening up the front of our feet now. And yeah, as the weather gets colder, we're gonna be doing more um, 
kind of just like like Sunday's gonna be just like gentle warm up, right? Because like it's just very important to have your body warmed up. Um, not only does it prevent injury, but I personally believe that our body is a physical representation of our mind. And when our body is not warmed up, our mind is also like, like a little creepy. So yeah, it's just that for a lot of people. Okay, we're gonna move our pillow out of the way just for one second. And then watch your hands and tuck your toes this time. And we're gonna push up for our first downward facing dog. Yay! Downward facing dog. The moment we've all been waiting for. Ah, so breathe as you push evenly between your palms, pressing your fingertips firmly on the ground. And then sway your head side to side. Breathe deeply in. Okay, so push evenly between both heels, both palms, pause them for a moment. Feeling the energy from the earth travel through the soles of your feet, through your foot softness, your feet softness. You breathe, feel the energy enter your palms too. So the earth is very, 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 very much supporting you. Absolutely, it's your palms. Oh my goodness, are beautiful. And then go ahead and just walk your feet up to your hands. Mm, nice wide stance, like this with this. Oh, your body now. Inhale. One more time, very back in. Exhale, slowly lower your hips down. We're gonna go for Malasana. So hands come to the back and head, and then just open your hands up. So my head is like <laughs> all stretched up. Okay. And then you can rock side to side, pressing into your elbows and evenly onto the soles of your feet, which you can't see because the computer is kind of off. But they're there, I promise, just because you can't see them. Doesn't mean they're not there. <laughs> uh, opening up our hips. Yeah, I'm good. Thanks. One more back in. Inhale. Exhale. Mm, the exhale, perfect. Hands come down, magical. Hands come down. Go ahead, press your body up. Mm, and then walk your hands over to the right foot. Left palm presses down, right arm lifts up. Mm, nice big stretch here. Then you make sure your hips are nice and even. Inhale. Mm, the exhale, go ahead, switch off. Side. And all the way down to our left foot, right arm is just up, up, up. And breathe in, Again, make sure your hips are nice and even. Breathe in,
with your exhale, release your body further into the earth. Bow yourself to your back. My breath is good. Hey! Perfect. Then go ahead, straighten your spine. Go walk to the front of my mat. Mm, exhale, forward fold. Inhale, straighten your spine. Exhale, forward fold. One more time. Inhale, straighten your spine. Exhale, press into your palms. Step your feet back. Back, back, perfect. Go ahead, push back, downward facing up. Inhale, right leg rises up. Left knee bent. Go ahead, bend your right knee to allow your hip to splay open. Inhale. Exhale. Right knee comes forward. Foot comes down, inhale, arms rise up on Jayasana. Exhale, bring your hands down. You're gonna heel toe, heel toe, all right, flex to the left side of the mat. And then go ahead, grab your pillow. So we're sitting down as a pigeon, but it's gonna be a more supportive pigeon. Grab your pillow, stick it underneath your butt. And then inhale, heart lifted. Exhale. Pull mm. your body down. Perfect. Breathe. Feel mm. the hips sore, lots of emotion. So sometimes in this posture, um, different memories or different uh, feelings may come up. And there's nothing wrong with that. It's actually a good thing because that means that they were trapped inside you energetically and they're ready to be felt in order to be released. So it's very, very, very important to be hyper aware in these postures notice any flashes of memories from the past or feelings or sensations that arise. Allow them to arise. No need to suppress them or push them down. They've probably been there for a little while. They're like, hey, let me out, let me out. Breathe. Let them be. They're safe now. They're safe to feel. They're safe to heal. They're safe to release, relax, and let go. One more big breath here. Inhale. Mm, exhale, beautiful. Go ahead and make your way back. And then go ahead, switch. You can move the pillow out of the way or not. Just go ahead, step your toes, push back down like this. Inhale, forward. Oh my gosh. Exhale, lower it down. I think it says update is ready. I got I don't have my contacts so like you're ready. Inhale, breathe. Oh, and exhale, release back down my face and duck. How about playing right? Exhale, knee comes in towards your chest. Go ahead, bring that foot down onto my asana. Oh. And have walk that side. Mm, exhale, same thing, other side. Let's drown the move your pillow to the other side. Squishy, squishy, and a big squishy. Squishy. 
Exhale, you might notice the sensations are actually different from one side to the other. And that's totally normal. It's totally normal to have different feelings. Our left side actually represents our feminine energy and our right side represents our masculine energy. And regardless of what gender, what sex you are, we have both energies flowing through us that we need to balance in order to like, we have to balance and work with them together, right? In harmony to restore ourselves. And to me, this is like the deepest healing because our masculine feminine represents our, our mother and our father and our sisters and our brothers. Figuratively, if you don't know them or if they are no longer with us, but the energy that you feel around them. One more big breath in. That's how I'm going to rise. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. Hug your toes. Let's rest down my face and down. Mm, pedal out those feet. Beautiful. And then inhale, forward, and it is flow through our vinyasa. Exhale, look down. Inhale, rise. And then go ahead and roll onto your back. Yay. 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 Okay. <laughs> I'm struggling a little bit. Okay. So we're on our back still. Go ahead, take your pillow. And yeah, you can roll it, flip it in chat. Um, and just like, yeah, we're going to put it aside actually for a second. And just raise your feet up to the side. And we're going to pause here for a minute. Mm -hmm. Breathing into this posture. Legs up the invisible wall. <laughs> Legs up the invisible wall. The imaginary wall. The figurative wall. <laughs> Just imagine there's a wall that your legs are up. Feel mm -hmm. your body grounded into your back. Hopefully you wear your cozy clothes so you're nice and comfy. Breathe two. Exhale, beautiful. Slowly lower your feet down, down, down. Press your toes into the mat, lift your hips up and over to the right. Knees fall to the left, yeah. And then our gaze is going to go over our right shoulder. Breathe.
Observe the muscles of your face. Breathe in through your nose. Smile. Your nose. Your third eye. Take a nice soft into the space. Allowing whatever is to just include it. On your next inhale, go ahead, please come back up to your chest. And then press our toes into the mat. And then hips come over to the left side and knees fall to the right again. Gaze over your left shoulder now. And soften into the space. Observing any points of discomfort. Mm, see if you can <sighs> breathe back. The entirety of your experience without needing it to be any other way than exactly how it is in this present moment. And as you breathe, feel your belly rise as you release. Touch your chest. Give yourself a nice big hug. Holding here for a second. Go ahead and release your left leg. Your right is just in touch your chest. Come forward and a little bit closer to your body. Raise your foot up to the sky. Bend that knee 90 degree angle. Grab the outer edge of your right foot. And we're going to do a half up plank. Just opening up our hips even more deeply. Allow your left hand to be open, soft, accepting. Give me all the love from yourself. Soul. Perfect. And then we're going to take our left leg, bend knee, cross our right ankle over our left thigh, pulling our body, our legs into our body. Clasp your hands underneath your left thigh, pulling, pulling, pulling your left toes and toes up. Inhale. Mm. Exhale. Pull just a little bit more closely. One more big breath in. Yeah. Mm. Exhale, we're going to bring our legs over to the left side, coming down into a twisted supine twister.
of using it for strains that make it better for your center. Mm. And crash it. Mm. And then switch right leg, lift out, mm. left knee in. Pulling your knee closer into the body. I just love like touching this little soft spot underneath my knee. Like so soft and I feel like I never think about it. So it's just nice to give our body, you know, different parts of our body some love, some touch and some love. Beautiful, beautiful. Now we're going to take our left foot, mm, right foot comes down to the mat, cross your left foot over your right thigh. Go ahead, pull your legs into your butt, clasp your hands by your right thigh. Inhale, mm, exhale, pull your legs in closer to your butt. Exhale, slowly roll onto the right side of your body. Supine, twisting, supine, twisting. Gaze over your left shoulder. Again, softening that left hand. Allow it to soften and open. And maybe take your wrist and just like get a little hit on one direction. Together, we're going to come back to your center. Grab your pillow. And make sure that it's like towards him. This is where it goes slow. <laughs> crack, crack, close it. <laughs> um, we're going to do something a little different. At first, we're going to do super bar and up the pillow. So the soles of your feet can touch together. Breathe deeply. Mm -hmm.
exchange, but um, I have asked this question. Yes, sorry, sorry, sorry. Tell us under the shoulder blades, half standing, half to the side. Let's roll on to the other side of the body. Little cough too. Then let's have a roll. As we breathe in, 
fetal position. First, we'll bring back to mind our intention for Seth, the beginning of class. Reminding us what brought us here on our earth. Our pure hearts, desires, and intentions. And second, as we breathe here in fetal position, may we be reminded of the time that we spent in our mother's womb in this same position, without worry or questioning. We'd have everything we need in order for our birth to be successful, resting and residing in pure trust, growth, life. Slowly release all fertile grounds of gratitude. And together we'll press into our palms to make our way back up. A nice, comfortable seat. And wherever you are, let's just go ahead before we close out class. And just circle the energy all around us. Mm. Feeling the energy the base of our spine. Just allowing it with each breath to rise up from our root chakra to our sacral chakra, solar plexus, our heart. So, third eye. Feeling all of our energy, the crown of our head stirring the beautiful thought of infinite consciousness. And just go ahead and rotate in opposite direction. As you exhale, feel the energy from the cosmos entering the crown. Slowly flowing with a vibrant, beautiful, pure light down your crown into your third eye. My heart, solar plexus, sacred, down, 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 into Mama Earth, connecting the micro with the macro, together we'll both arms rise up. Exhale, hands come down, down, down for prayer. Touch your palms on your mat. Continue giving loving vibes to Mama Earth. Mm. Thank you, Mama. Beautiful blue spaceship. Love and gratitude for showing up for your breath this day. And receive that love, receive that gratitude. Allow it to penetrate you into the depths of your core. Breathe in that love, breathe in that gratitude. Trust all that is meant for you will be. Thank you so much for showing up for your practice today. Thank you for being here and sharing your practice with me. 
Again, this is a community flow. So if you feel the call to add a donation, all proceeds will go to Save the Ocean. Mm. You're going to start doing monthly very excited for it. We can help spread our positive love and light. 